Honorable Prime Minister Julia Gillard, Honorable Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Basasar, Honorable Ministers, Commonwealth Secretary General, CBC Co-Chair Pascal Doze and Sir Alan Fields, CBF Co-Chairs Mark Barnaba, John Denton, distinguished guests. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to Commonwealth Business Forum 2011. Prime Minister Gillard, we are indeed honored by your presence and are most grateful to you for your interest and support for the preparations of the Business Forum. I would like to thank you personally for the encouragement you have given to the CBC in organizing this event. We're also grateful to Premier Colin Barnett and the Government of Western Australia for their partnership and support. I would like to express our deep appreciation to Prime Minister Prasad Bissasar for the close working relationship which we had during her tenure as Commonwealth Chair in office. And CBC now looks forward to working with you, Prime Minister Gillard, as you assume this role later this week. The forum theme, which complements the Chogam theme, is partnering for global growth. We are meeting at difficult economic times, and I would like this morning to say something about how the Commonwealth can be a practical tool for members in building partnership to address the challenges we face. At the outset, let me say that perhaps the least fruitful facet of the Commonwealth has been a tendency to soul search about the value of the association. We usually seek answers by looking in the rear view mirror for a new self-image developed for the historic ties of the past. I think this could be a mistake. The Commonwealth was indeed formed to reflect a changing world in which new nations were taking their place as equals. Governance and the values associated with the good governance played a very important part in redefining the modern Commonwealth and making it what it is today. An association marked by respect for rule of law, democratic practice, separation of powers, and mixed market economies. But the real relevance of the Commonwealth is evident from who is in the hall today, this morning. We have some of the biggest global companies, individuals and entrepreneurs who are among the top wealth creators in the global economy, and many political leaders, all of whom share the common heritage and language. Every other intergovernmental grouping would love to have this combination. In CBC, we believe it's imperative that the focus of the official Commonwealth catch up with this new face of the modern Commonwealth and complement the pursuit of good governance with greater attention to practical economic cooperation and business to government links. The CBC was born at Chogam in 1997 out of Edinburgh's economic declaration promoting economic prosperity, which launched this new direction. As business, we agree that the countries with good governance have better economic prospects and are better placed to attract investment. The evidence of economic evolution is all around us. Today, the Commonwealth looks very different than 20 or even 10 years ago. The Commonwealth is a successful association ideally suited to, to the globalized economy with its English language and shared institutional history. The relevance of the modern Commonwealth lies in its potential to leverage economic opportunities and to generate jobs, income and sustainable growth. We need to shift the balance of effort and the branding of the association to achieve this. In this context, we hope that the Commonwealth government, Commonwealth governments will take a fresh look at the Commonwealth and how it works. 
Let me mention a few examples which illustrate the economic dynamism of the new Commonwealth. By 2020, the Commonwealth will contain over 1 billion middle class consumers and an amazing 40% of the world's workforce, 25% of that in India alone. Despite the economic crisis for the large majority of our countries, improvements have led to strong economic growth, averaging 5 to 7% in many of the developing countries over the past 10 years. Commonwealth countries are net contributors to global growth. According to the World Bank, five Commonwealth countries are ranked in the global top 10 for ease of doing business, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Singapore, and United Kingdom. 17 of the top 20 African countries in which to do business are Commonwealth countries. Commonwealth businesses are world leaders in sectors such as ICT, banking and financial services, energy, manufacturing, and agriculture. To make this point in a mining town, Perth, what would be left of the world mining industry if Australia, Canada, South Africa, and United Kingdom were removed? These are the heart of global mining and financial expertise that are fueling the global growth. In short, the Commonwealth is now a grouping of mature market economies and English-speaking democracies. It is time for us to take advantage of the Commonwealth's past successes and leverage them alongside the Commonwealth factor of Commonwealth common systems of government, language, and business opportunities. We are here to do business, make a difference to people's lives, create jobs, wealth, and investment. This is the practical relevance of the Commonwealth, and let's use this for the common good. CBC's activities and the biennial Commonwealth Business Forum, in particular, have been instrumental in increasing trade and investment. This has resulted in significant investment into a number of countries which have made real difference. Prime Minister Gillan, we wish you well in your deliberations this week. The Chogam in Perth can be a watershed for the Commonwealth as an association and the brand of the future a brand which signifies good governance with trade and investment. This will be a good complement to the G20 with its fresh emphasis on the broader economic agenda for all. The CBC will be glad to work with you as chairperson in office and Commonwealth governments to advance this agenda. We look forward to a successful forum that will result in new partnerships, new businesses, new deals, that will benefit all our Commonwealth member countries. Thank you for your attention.